how cool is that to watch your boys pull something like this off? Uh, it's, it's my favorite part of the job. It really is. I'm second generation driller. My dad did this, I did this, my uncles did this, my brother did this. Everybody in my family on my father's side was pretty much a driller growing up. You know, watching how innovative these guys are and, and the details that they just take care of without even thinking about it. I've been at Drill Tech, it's been almost 10 years now. I've never seen a company that's been more capable and more able to go and attack different product and attack it well and not sacrifice the quality of the product for quantity. It's very difficult to apply five million pounds or you apply a factor of safety 10 million pounds to something from the surface. Um, so you go down in the middle of the pile and you, you apply you know, five million in each direction. That's kind of how we wind up with the bi-directional load test. So you start out with a collar casing, which is an oversized CMP, corrugated metal pipe. That secures the top, in this situation, 20 feet of the hole. The following day we come in and we start excavating the hole with the drill rig. So we're drilling down, in this situation, 185 foot was our minimum. We had two pieces of cage. One was 83 foot and the other one was 80 foot. And then there's carry bars on top of that to let you reach the surface and be able to hang the cage at the right elevation. The engineers will tell us where to put the O cells uh, the four hydraulic rams that are actually going to push load against this, this cage upward and downward at the same time. They tell us where to put those in. We go in there and we cut the cage and we weld two two inch plates uh, the same diameter as the cage and then we install four hydraulic cylinders and then we weld that package back up together and then we run hoses and cords and all the instrumentation along the cages from the tip all the way up to the top of the pile. Essentially what the instrumentation is doing is measuring how the load is applied uh, along the length of the cage. So we take the first piece with the O-cell, we set that in the hole. We then pick up our second piece, set it on top. We attach the two cages together, pick the whole thing up as a package, taking great care in all the instrumentation. As we lower it down and we're fishing all the wires up and over the top of the second cage, we lower it down to grade, dog it off, and then we start pouring. So the O-cell is used to stress the pile. From there, you'll be able to get data on the end bearing capacity and the shear capacity of the pile. The data is collected with strain gauges and other monitors seen throughout uh, the cage. And from there, with the numbers that you get from the tests, the uh, engineer uh, who designed the pile is able to see if they designed it to the correct capacity or not. Drill Tech does everything. We do micro piles, CIDH piles, soldier piles. We do tiebacks, we do soil nails. Um, they do tunneling, mining. I mean, anything that involves shoring anything, Drill Tech does and does it well.